Hi all, welcome to competition exam cracker. In this video, we'll be covering 31st part of Baron's 800 words with easy to remember images series. So Isme will cover 20 more words. So to watch the entire series, kindly visit on the channel and you will find a playlist there. So you can watch the entire playlist to cover the entire Baron's 800 words. So with that note, moving towards the session. So 601st word that we have is profit yet, which means to win over or appease. So to remember this word, you can again break this and just break it as professional that is pro and consider this as PT. So that was a subject uh, called physical training in your school. So just may up game kill the day. So usse aap isko connect kar sakte ho. So there was a lot of class in the school where you were not enjoying at all. Then there was a PT class which win over everyone. So jo ek appeasement lata tha, jo ek khushi lata tha. So usse aap connect kar sakte ho. The professional in PT class, so jo PT ki class hai, that is physical training ki class hai, this may be used to play the game. That was the best thing and, and that used to bring appeasement in the class. That PT class will help you to remember this word. Moving to the next word. Next word is propriety, which means correct conduct or fitness. So if you know the basics of business, ya fir aapne commerce ka kuch bhi subject padha hai. So you will know ki firm ki ek type hoti hai, that is sole proprietorship. That means that the firm will conduct the correct codes and that will be dependent on a, a sole owner of that firm. So from that proprietorship, you can easily connect that it can be used for a firm. In which the government is telling to the firm that you have to work with a correct conduct. You have to work with a way. You have to keep your fitness in the business. Means the basic hygiene checks in the business. You have to maintain it. So with that, you can easily connect. Just connect this propriety word with this sole proprietorship firm so you can remember it very well. Moving to the next word. Next word is proscribe, which means to condemn, forbid, or outlaw. So there is a word called prescribe, which is a similar sounding word. So your doctor aapko prescription data hai. So he authorizes you to take those medicine. Otherwise, agar aap aise hi jaoge to take the medicine, so ho sakta hai ki you don't get it. So the doctor is correct person to authorize you to prescribe you those medicine जो कि आप लेके ठीक हो सकते हो। So उसका exactly आप opposite मान सकते हो that is proscribe। So इसमें आपको वो allow कर रहा है लेना, इसमें वो आपको रोक देगा। He will forbid you, वो आपको लेने नहीं देगा दवा। So उससे आप पने कर सकते हो। Just remember prescribe and proscribe are opposite to each other and in prescribe doctor authorize us to take medicine and in proscribe one can forbid us to do something. So, you can connect with that. Moving to the next word. Next word is provident, which means providing for a future need or frugal. So, you have heard a lot of provident funds. That is PF. So, provident fund normally is for the future. So, you can easily connect with that. That is something which provides for future need. Otherwise, if you look at provident word, so you can find a provide word in it. So, provide word, you can connect with something from providing something. And then you can connect to the future need. But better is to connect it with the PF, which is very widely used. So, this can be very easily used. Moving to the next word. Next word is puissant, which means powerful. So, just break this word and focus on the second half, that is Sant. So, Sant were the people who were more powerful than many of the kings because they had some mantras that they were controlling. So, their power was extreme. So, you can connect with that. Just focus on the second part of the word, that is Sant. And with that, you can easily connect the power. Moving to the next word. Next word is punctilious, which means careful in observing rules of behavior. So, you can easily break down this word. And if you observe it carefully, so it sounds like a punctual word. So, you can remember careful observation that you are punctual enough to observe things clearly. Otherwise, you can remember punctuality too. So, Pankti in English is stanza, which is used in the poem. So, you can also remember that the poet observes little things very carefully and on the base of it, he writes a pankti, that means a stanza, and it is very popular. So, you need to be very careful in observing if you want to write pankti. Otherwise, you can also remember it as punctual. So, if you are punctual, you are careful in observing things. So, with that, it becomes very easy to connect. So you can remember this word with both the ways, anyone which you like, you can go ahead with that. Moving to the next word. Next word is pungent, which means penetrating or caustic or used about a smell that is very strong. 
सो इसको आप हिंदी के वर्ड पंगे से रिलेट कर सकते हो सो इफ यू आर वीक इनफ एंड पीपल आर कमिंग टू फाइट विथ यू सो अगर पंगे ले रहे हैं वो तुमसे सो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन प्रोड्यूस सम बायोलॉजिकल गैस जो कि काफी बैड होगा एंड जो भी आपसे फाइट करने आ रहे हैं वो उस स्मेल से डर के भाग जाएंगे सो so, इस तरीके से थोड़ा फनी वे में आप इसको याद रख सकते हो जस्ट कंसिडर दिस वर्ड एज पंगे एंड अगर आपसे कोई पंगा लेगा एंड यू आर वीक इनफ सो आप क्या करोगे सो यू विल यूज योर ब्रेन सो आप बायोलॉजिकल गैस यूज करोगे टू प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्फ विच इज वेरी स्मेली सो उस हिसाब से आप इसको याद रख सकते हो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज पर्पॉट विच मीन्स टू प्रोफेस सपोज और क्लेम सो यू कैन इजिली ब्रेक दिस वर्ड एंड रिमेंबर इट रियली इजिली सो आपने काफी बार सुना होगा कि काफी एरिया के नाम पुर होते हैं लाइक मुजफ्फरपुर और लाजपुर एक्सेट्रा सो जो पुर होते हैं वो काइंड ऑफ विलेज होते हैं सो विलेज में इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पोर्ट सो इट इज वेरी स्ट्रेंज थिंग नॉर्मली पोर्ट जो होते हैं वो सिटी में होते हैं सो यू आर सपोजिंग दैट जो पोर्ट है वो एक पुर में है दैट इज एक विलेज में है सो इस तरीके से आप इसको कनेक्ट करके याद रख सकते हो जस्ट ब्रेक दिस वर्ड एंड फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एज पुर दैट इज विलेज एंड पोर्ट दैट मीन्स एयरपोर्ट और सी पोर्ट और उससे आप कनेक्ट कर सकते हो वी आर जस्ट सपोजिंग इट सो इस तरीके से यू कैन रिमेंबर रियली वेल मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज पुजिल एनिमस विच मीन्स कावर्डली सो यू कैन अगेन ब्रेक दिस वर्ड एंड फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज पुसी जो कि कैट होता है सो आप कैट से इसको कंपेयर करिएगा प्लीज एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट बिंग एनिमस जो आपको याद दिलाएगा कि ये पुसी का मतलब कैट ही है सो कंसिडर दिस कैट एज अ कावर्ड एनिमल क्योंकि वो अपने से छोटे एनिमल का ही शिकार करके उनको कंज्यूम करती है सो इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ कावर्ड एनिमल सो उस हिसाब से यू कैन कनेक्ट एंड रिमेंबर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज कॉग मायर विच मीन्स मार्च और डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन सो दिस इज लिटिल ट्रिकी बट अगेन यू कैन ब्रेक दिस वर्ड एंड रिमेंबर इट सो जस्ट फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज क्यू यू दैट इज क्यू सो जो आप लाइन फॉर्म करते हो उसको क्यू बोलते हैं सो विद दैट क्यू यू कैन कनेक्ट दिस वन एंड द नेक्स्ट बिंग आग दैट मीन्स फायर यू आर इन अ क्यू एंड देर बिन अ फायर आउट ब्रेक सो उससे लोग मर रहे हैं यू कैन कंसिडर दिस मायर एज मर रहे हैं सो अगर आप क्यू में हो और आग से लोग मर रहे हैं सो इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन फॉर यू टू बी इन सो उससे आप कनेक्ट करके इजिली इसको याद रख सकते हो Moving to the next word. Next word is quail, which means a small brown bird whose meat or eggs we eat or lost heart. So, इसको आप simply quail से याद कर लो. Quail एक bird का नाम है हिंदी में. So, उस bird से आप इसको easily connect कर पाओगे. So, just connect this quail as that quail so that you can easily remember this word. Moving towards next word. Next word is qualified, which means limited or restricted. So, each one of you is qualified person now. Qualified means you are able to do something which normally people can't do. So you are one among the limited person out there. आप भीड़ में से नहीं हो आप भीड़ से थोड़े अलग हो So you are limited, you are restricted. So because lot of people are not qualified and you are qualified, so you come under a limited edition type of person. So you can remember it through that. Moving to the next word. Next word is call, which means a feeling of doubt or worry that what you are doing may not be morally right. so if you read this word so it is pronouncing as a column so jo row and column ka jo formation hota hai in excel aap usse isko relate kar sakte ho so column ka naam rakhna is one of the most difficult part in the professional career because column will represent the entire uh, information and if column is not covering the broad range so jo aapka information hai that won't be that effective so while you are filling the name of column so you will have doubt or worry that you are doing it correctly or not otherwise it can hamper the other people's productivity so usse aap isko connect karke yaad rakh sakte ho i know it is little tricky but directly is word ko iske meaning ke sath connect karna is not that simple so you can choose a way to go with row and column formation so that you can reach to the meaning moving to the next word next word is query which means question so call center se jab bhi call aata hai for credit card or anything of that sort so they ask you in the last key sir do you have any query so they mean that sir do you have any question so isse aap easily connect kar sakte ho otherwise if you are an engineer aur agar aapne kabhi bhi my sql ya ms access kiya hai so you will easily know ki what is query so query is pertaining to question wherein you are telling database to bring down certain result based on what you are asking so usse aap isko easily connect kar sakte ho moving to the next word Next word is cubal, which means to argue over insignificant and irrelevant details. 
so again uh, you can break this word and you can consider this q as question and this double b l e as bubble so agar aap isko thoda expand karo so question on bubble so bubble is kind of insignificant thing so it is a kind of gas thing so if you are questioning on that so you are arguing over uh, insignificant or irrelevant details so aap isko question on bubble se easily connect kar sakte ho just focus on breaking this and then expanding these words so just consider it as question and this as bubble and you are questioning on bubbles so you are arguing on something which is very irrelevant moving to the next word next word is quiescent which means inactive or still so you can again break this word and consider this first part as quiz that is q u i z and the second part being sent jo ki dollar ka decimal part hai so if you are playing a quiz for some cents so you won't be an active candidate there because if you are playing a quiz so aap assume kare ho ki you can win a lottery or you can win a huge hamper amount but agar wo kuch cent aapko offer kar rahe hain like 10 cent or 20 cent so you won't be that actively participated in that particular quiz so you will be still you will be inactive so usse you can easily connect just read this word as q and this as cent so you can easily connect this word moving to the next word next word is quorum which means number of member necessary to conduct a meeting and easily you can connect it with the quora so quora is a platform wherein people ask questions and again the people answer it so you can easily connect if there is a sufficient number of member uh, which is necessary to conduct a meeting and meeting being the question answer format so with that you can easily connect moving to the next word next word is raconter which means witty or skillful storyteller so if you read till record सो so, आप रिकॉर्ड जैसा फील कर पाओगे सो so, हम रिकॉर्ड क्या करते हैं सो so, जो स्किलफुल स्टोरी टेलर होते हैं उनकी स्टोरीज को इन फॉर्म ऑफ मूवीज हम रिकॉर्ड करते हैं और फिर देखते हैं सो so, उससे आप इसको कनेक्ट कर सकते हो कि वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग समथिंग विच इज वर्थ इनफ टू बी रिकॉर्डेड सो वो स्किलफुल स्टोरी टेलर की जो परसेप्शन है थ्रू अ ब्यूटिफुल डायरेक्शन उसको हम रिकॉर्ड करते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मूवी एंड देन वी वॉच इट सो इस तरीके से यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड otherwise connecting this recounter word with directly skillful storyteller is very difficult so this is a easier way for you to go out moving to the next word next word is rail which means to scold with a bitter or abusive language so you can easily connect it with indian railways so jo railway ki services hain jis tarike se railway late hota hai aur jo hygiene maintain hota hai usme you can easily scold railway with a bitter or abusive language सो so, उससे आप इसको इजीली कनेक्ट कर सकते हो द क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम रेलवे इज वर्थ इनफ टू बी स्कोल्डेड विद बिटर और अब्यूजिव लैंग्वेज सो ऐसा करना नहीं है बट जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ लर्निंग आप इसको याद रख सकते हो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज रेमेंट विच मीन क्लोदिंग सो वेन यू प्रोनाउंस दिस वर्ड सो उसमें आप रेमंड वर्ड को वेरी इजिली कनेक्ट कर सकते हो सो रेमंड इज अ क्लोदिंग ब्रांड सो विथ रेमंड यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ रेमेंट और उससे आप क्लोदिंग को इजिली कनेक्ट कर पाओगे so just read this raiment as a raiment if raiment hai to clothing hai and then you are good to go moving ahead so with that we have completed 31st part of barons 800 words with easy to remember images series so i urge you ki aap pura series ek bar acche se complete kar lo pure 800 words should be there with you every time so that you have a better grip on your vocab so vocab is a kind of subject ki agar wahan pe aapne pehle bahut mehnat ki hai while you are attempting the exam आप उसको 10 सेकंड में 15 सेकंड में पूरे वो कैब को निकाल सकते हो अगर आपने पहले मेहनत नहीं की है सो वो कैब विल इट अप अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम और आपके जो लो हैंगिंग फ्रूट्स हैं यू विल लॉस ऑल ऑफ देम क्योंकि क्वांट में यू नीड टू सॉल्व समथिंग एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच यू नीड टू डेडिकेट सम टाइम बट दिस इज नॉट द केस विथ वो कैब सो वर्क वेल ऑन द वो कैब सो दैट यू कैन हैव एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स इन दिस सेक्शन सो प्रिपेयर वेल स्टेट यून एंड कीप लर्निंग